What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Doing the Spay Malt by Gordon McPhail. This is Macallan Distillate. All right, so sourced from the Macallan Distillery, Gordon McPhail bottled this 21 years ago. It's a 21 year old, 55.5% ABV. Leave it to Gordon McPhail to do what Macallan can't do, which is do their whiskey right. Um, this is an exceptional whiskey. Just goes to show what could happen if McAllen was doing what they should be doing. Uh, but unfortunately, I digress. Gonna nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, so beautiful nose on this one. Lots of cherry notes. Cherry pie. Definitely a baked good kind of note in there as well. Like I said, cherry pie, baked cherry pie. Really, really nice. Some nice like chocolate covered cherries as well. Milk chocolate. Touch of cinnamon. This is one sherry cask. I don't recall how many bottles there were of this. Not very many. Doesn't say it on the actual bottle here. But in case you're wondering which one this is, because there are lots of Macallan Spay Malts. This is, like I said, bottled at 55.5%, bottled in 2021, uh, distillate is 2020. Honestly, the more you nose this, the more notes you get. There's like a hint of like leather, old books for sure, like old library kind of smell, but pleasant of course. Yeah, wow. Definitely one of the best whiskeys I've had this year. This was a bottle split. So a little backstory behind this. Uh, it arrived in Alberta, a few stores got it. Jeremy and I decided to do a bottle split on the first one that we could get our hands on. Uh, and it was from Keg and Cork and they were charging 500, which was like 150 more than everywhere else in Alberta. So. A little buyer beware there. We bought it anyway, not thinking we would be able to access any more and you know, we just grabbed what we could. On the back it does say uh, fruit cake on the palate, roasted hazelnuts. I kind of get that, that roasted, roasted hazelnut kind of note on the nose, similar to like what you would get if you were opening a jar of Nutella Chocolate, and hazelnut kind of note on the palate. Yeah, and all those notes carry through on the palate. The slightest indication that this is Macallan distillate on the palate, you do get that reminiscent Macallan sherry kind of note. I'm not sure if Gordon McPhail chose this cask or McAllen chose this cask and Gordon McPhail bought the cask from them. That I'm not sure. If you do know, leave it in the comments below and I'll pin your comment. But wow, that is incredible. It's amazing how McAllen Distillate handles sherry casks and really unfortunate that they're not doing more stuff accessible to people at cast strength. So, wow. Like I said, the average price for this across Alberta was about 350 bucks, maybe a little bit more in some places. Um, some places were obviously taking advantage and charging more, but what you get for sub $500, sub $400 in a lot of cases, 
compared to what you get at the McAllen Distillery. You can't buy, recently I did a video of the uh, worst whiskeys for your money. You can't get the McAllen 18 year old bottled at 43%, the sherry cask for less than $600 in Ontario. This absolutely blows that away for half the price, which is absurd. Um, 21 years old, fantastic whiskey, good on Gordon McPhail to continue to do the right thing with all their whiskeys. They're just honestly the most reliable company in the entire world, in my opinion. Um, everything that they do is excellent. And you know what? Are there going to be misses along the way? Of course, but just so reliable, easy to buy blind. So happy with this whiskey. One more sip. Here comes the mark. So hard to knock this whiskey. Could it use a little bit of water? It's important to try it with a little bit of water to see if that's where your comfort zone is, but it doesn't need it. This is a 92-93, easily. Uh, just beautiful finish, long lasting. Everything that you want in a sherry cask whiskey. And again, good on Gordon McPhail for what they're doing because just always putting out incredible whiskeys at a very fair price. So like I said, 92, 93, I would probably even lean more towards the 93 than the 92. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get notifications for when I do release a video. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.